Canadians have been riveted by the scene of their Prime Minister cutting short a foreign trip to come home to Canada to deal with what the BC Premier has called a crisis, Kinder Morgan and the pipeline. Well, they had their meeting. There was no resolution of it, so the Prime Minister has said the federal government will introduce legislation to have that pipeline go ahead. He also said the Minister of Finance is going to meet with Kinder Morgan to see how much money they want, even though Kinder Morgan has not asked for a penny. So what do we take from this? Well, first of all, that federal Liberal government is spending a lot of your taxpayers' money and they haven't even been asked to do so. So hang on to your wallets. Secondly, we have too much government in Canada. In BC alone, there are over 1,100 permits required for this pipeline, just by the provincial government, not less the federal government. And we also have to deal with the fact that we have been hostage to the Green Party and minorities. The BC Premier cannot move, even if he wanted to. He can't be a statesman because he's going to lose his government if he loses the support of the Green MPPs. So there's a lot of lessons in this. Canadians are looking at whether, in fact, we are going to have pipelines, we are going to move forward, and whether we are going to be a pipsqueak of a nation, a community of communities, or whether, in fact, we're going to be a country able to take out the national interest. As for Mr. Trudeau, you have to give him credit. He came home, but for now, he's back off to Paris and London.